so tonight's homework is number 40. All right, I'm, I have to sneeze. Hold on. Okay, all right, so tonight's homework is number 40 for Thursday, December 14th. Uh, now, tonight's question is a little bit more unique because they're not looking for the exact answer. These are called maximum number questions, meaning, actually, let me demonstrate. Okay, so question number one, Jack has 10 and two thirds yards of ribbon to make bows. Okay, each bow is made from a piece of ribbon that's three thirds yards. What's the maximum? Now, the question actually isn't different from last night when we were doing division, because the question is still something like this. How many times can three fifths fit into 10 and two thirds? Now, how we present the answer is a, a different, uh, different thing altogether. So let's convert this. So that's 32 over 3 times 5 over 3, right? Is that right? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we can't cross cancel. Okay, hold on. 32, 32 over 3 times, keep changing, flip 5 over 3. Yep, yep, yep. We can't cross cancel, so we just have to do the math. So 5 times 2 is 10, 15, 16. 3 times 3 is 9. Now, that's a little different from last night, isn't it? So now I'm going to do long division because I have to convert it to a mixed number. Like, so for instance, if you right now, if you put a fraction in there, 160 over 9, they'll mark you wrong because the answer doesn't come out as a whole number, which means, which also means, what does it also mean? It also means that you can, you, you will have left over, uh, left over ribbon, but you're not going to use the left over ribbon to make a bow. That's what I suggest. That's what it is suggesting. So we need the we need the whole number to see how many times nine can wholly go into one sixty. All right, wholly. W H O L L Y. Okay. All right. So nine times one is nine. What is that? Seven. So bring the zero down. Nine going to seventy seven times, right? Sixty three. So that's seven. So that's now. Technically, the 17 and 7 nines, but you cannot use this, even though if you use this in real life, like no one can tell. Seven nines of a bow, right? Anyways, but you know, from a school mathematics standpoint, we can only make 17 bows. Yeah. You got it now? Okay, all right, let's do one more just to make sure. Now, for this one, same thing. An art teacher has six and three quarter gallons of pain. How was the maximum number? So it's very familiar to last night, similar to last night's question. So six and three fourths, how many times then three fifths go into that? Let's see. Four, six, twenty-four, twenty-seven times five over three. Again, nothing to cross cancel. That's on purpose. Five, I'm multiplying now. Five times seven is thirty-five. Five times two is ten. That's one thirty-five. Four times three is twelve. I do the long division. 12 going to 13 ones, bring down the 5, 12 going to 15 ones. So that's the whole number looking for, and that's the whole number I'm looking for, 11. So there, you can, you can contain, you can have 11 full containers, okay, with three 12s left over there, right? That's a quarter. Okay, all right, submit this, and that's it. Okay, so that's it. That's all the homework we're doing this week. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. I will see you guys tomorrow in class. Okay, all right. Bye now. OMG, that was so good.